Praise the Lord, today I would like to talk about parenting. Parenting. In the last section about the parenting, we meditated about the three J's. The first one was Jesse, father of David. God blessed him by choosing one of his children, but Jesse showed partiality between his children against David. The second J was Job. First, he would get up early in the morning to pray, and secondly, he would pray for his children for what? Perhaps my children have sinned or cursed against God in their heart. The third J was Jesus talking about the prodigal son's father. He saw his son's repentant heart from far away and he showed compassion. Do you know I have heard of this older brother or the heart of the father? Today I would like to discuss three cases. So firstly, the Israelites. The Israelites had suffered years and years of slavery of Egypt. God freed them through Moses and the miracle of Red Sea. Before they left, God have provided them enough provision by letting their Egyptian neighborhood gave them article of gold and silver. While Moses was meeting with the God on Mount Sinai, the Israelites got fed up with waiting for him to come back and ask Aaron to make them a God they can see. Aaron make a statue of golden calf and people bow down and worshipped it. Very first, I would like to emphasize on the influence of world in us in terms of money. As children of God are influenced by Egypt, though, the word of God, our workplace, or the word of God, or the moral value of the government, or the word of God. Most of the time, children get bad habit from their friends, colleagues, or this world. We cannot control this. We must add this in our prayer. God, please help us to deal with many under the control of the whole money under the control of Holy Spirit, not by the influence of this world. Secondly, one day Nebuchadnezzar came and said, If you are ready to fall down and worship the image I made, very good. But if it's not, then I will send you a blazing foreigners. Um, and I want to see that whether God can save you or not. Shandrak, Meshach and Abednego replied to him, King Nebuchadnezzar, we do not need to defend ourselves before you in a matter. Because I, we definitely know that God can deliver. But even if he does not, we want you to know, our majesty, that we will not serve your gods or worship the image of gold you have set up. The second point I would like to emphasize that, but even if he does not, you can see um, that I can easily say that to one our dad or something attending the meeting. But it is not dependent on whether he is giving the everything that I ask, but it is that he disciplined me in a way that really knows what is the best for me. As uh, Shandrak Meshach Abendabob said, even if he does not, but even if my father, my heavenly father does not give me my basic provision, money, health or anything, I will not go away from him. He can discipline me and then only thing I want to hear from my heavenly father is, this is my son and I am well pleased in you. Finally, about the Jesus Christ. Some people may feel that, no, I don't have the desire of money. I just working for meeting uh, my basic need and that's it. But anyway, anyone trying to deal with the financial matter must look at how Jesus dealt with the phone this earth. He cast out the people who is doing in the business in the temple. He taught uh, us dealing with the tax and everything. But finally, I would like to encourage the word like 7 verses 10, Matthew 7 verses 9. Compared to Jesus, I am an evil father, and if my son asks about the, uh, for the bread, I will never give the stone. If he asks about the fish, I will never give it the snake. But he, as an evil father like me, I want to give a best to my child, but how much more my heavenly father give to my child. May God bless you. Amen.